What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about that fan first Tuesday, which is normally called Friday. Marvel Legends reveals characters from the Hasbro Pulse. And this is question number two. A character in the Hasbro six inch Legends line from the pre till 2014. So this would be considered right after Toy Biz and including the uh, return of Marvel Legends. So here are all the waves that it could consider. I did not take into consideration two packs, which I could have, but I didn't. So here we go. Pause right here if you want to take a look at all these figures, but I'm also going to break it down from Wikipedia and what they have in each wave. So in 2007, Hasbro did take over for Marvel Legends from Toy Biz. So you had the Nihilus wave. And what sticks out for me in that one is, of course, Nihilus and Banshee. You had the Blob Wave, and the Blob sticks out for me in that one. Yellow Jack as well. You had the Brood Queen, she sticks out. And the Bucky Barn sticks out to me on that wave. Ronan the Accuser sticks out for me in the Fantastic Four wave, as well as Mole Man. Sandman Wave was all movie, so I don't think any of that's going to happen. Fin Fang Foom Wave, Fin Fang Foom sticks out. Doc Sampson, Scar. You had the Target Exclusive Red Hulk Wave. Mm. Maybe Spiral. I think that's still a great figure. Adam Warlock, possibly. Uh, from the Walmart exclusive, you have Ares and Holocaust Builder figures. I think the Holocaust Nemesis uh, figure sticks out to me in that one. Tiger definitely sticks out. I know a lot of people still want that Kong, uh, or Kang, whatever you want to call him, the Accuser. But to me, we've already had two of them. I don't, I don't really feel like having another one. That's just my opinion. Uh, then you got the Return of Marvel Legends. You had the Terax Build a Figure Wave, Arn Zola Build a Figure Wave, and the Iron Monger. Nothing sticks out too much in these waves that needs to be redone. I know that people would probably like the Wrecking Crew again. And maybe even a Dakin done in his actual tattooed form. Then you have the Hit Monkey Rocket Raccoon Waves. Nothing sticks out there except for again the, the Wrecking Crew. And then you have the Epic Heroes Wave and the Puck Series. And unless they're going to finally throw out some of those variants that we never got from the Epic Heroes wave or that were very slim to get. So here's what I think. This is what I pulled out of the list that are my top picks for what I think that we could be getting from that series um, that has record real release for us. Banshee, Yellow Jacket, Holocaust, Fentiming Foon, hopefully with some purple shorts this time. Annihilus, Bucky definitely is like my number one needed. Um, Mole Man, Scar, Doc Sampson, Brood Queen, Blob's a big one, and Ronan the Accuser. So my top three most likely are going to be the Blob, the Banshee, and the Fin Fang Foom. Because they said we are going to get our biggest um, builder figure that Hasbro has done. So we'll see. We'll see what that does. Guys, let me know what y'all think, what y'all think it would be. You think it's something maybe from the two packs instead during this era? Let me know. Hit me up in the comments, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.